Hello, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate with me, Nutrion, and um, Merry Christmas. I'm actually recording this on Christmas Day. Uh, so I've got a free house and no one's in, apart from me in the dark, so yeah. <laughs> Ah, I just had a nice Christmas breakfast. It was lovely. Interestingly, what kind of things do you have for your Christmas Day breakfasts and experiences in the morning on Christmas Day? Mine's quite simple. Um, just a duck egg, really. Boiled and nice and lovely. It, it doesn't taste any different to a regular egg, really. It's just a, um, um, it's a bit stronger if you've never had duck eggs. The only difference is it's bigger. And you need to cook it for longer as well. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, we're doing another of the dreadful crimes. We've got the case of the conflicted courtship. Which is the second case that you can do. A tragedy in the park. Another chance to sort out a diabolical conundrum. One that I'll turn into a one a penny read for Perlock Publishing. Excuse me. Inspect the corpse. When it lets me. <coughs> All right, so we've got. Someone could tell me more about this. A handbag. <coughs> now that I've seen this, I should ask more questions. Oh, I see something over there. And a knife. Let's go to Gilbert's house first. I have to turn off the notifications for the communities because they are getting annoying. Useful, but mm, I don't really play Destiny anymore, so well, not much anyway. She clues upstairs. Yeah. So I go down here. Investigate for Prudence. Prudence and I are engaged to be married. I'm desperate to see her. She should be by any moment. She had something important to tell me. 
I'm worried she's going to break off the engagement. Oh. Right. The doctor. Loads clues. Someone could tell me more about this. Right hand in writing. Doctor Alton upstairs. Let's go upstairs. See if there's any clues up here. Yes, there are. Oh, or in the other room. How horrible! I was about to propose. But I don't understand. She and I didn't have a meeting arranged today. It is true that we sometimes meet in the park, but there was no arrangement for this morning. That's very odd indeed. Prudence was a patient here, but wasn't given this prescription. There's no reason that she should be carrying such a packet. But the evidence is all over the place. You appreciate, I'm sure, that I cannot discuss the condition of any of my patients. Uh, she's dead. You can. Mr. Shelby. I don't know any of Dr. Alton's other patients. I'm quite angry, actually. I was having such terrific results. I felt like a new man, much more vigorous and outgoing. But the doctor has ended the prescription altogether for no reason. Okay. I'm sorry to hear about her murder. She was a patient here, but increasingly began to stop by socially. Dr. Alton makes house calls to see him. Baxter doesn't come into the office. I make up the prescriptions and he picks them up at noon when I'm away at lunch. So she was meeting Dr. Alton in the park, was she? My understanding was that she was engaged to someone. 
In any case, the good doctor could do better, in my opinion. Yeah. Perhaps now he will. Mr. Baxter apparently attacked the doctor yesterday. It was after hours, but the doctor did have a cut on his cheek. Poor man. Okay. Oh, uh, well, it's another question to ask, I believe. An unfortunate incident. One of my patients became overexcited. Yeah, send line. Prince's house. Surprising debts. So, you know, part of our we speed was it. So, I don't see all the kisses. It's with to Gilbert. Doctor, it seems to said to call him Doctor Ah. Oh. Yes, uh, yes, they are. Swift, sharp breaks are best for everyone. Take it from someone going through a lingering one, they are terrible. Until I catch her again. That trollop better promise to let him alone, or I'll give her what for. He's all mine, I tell you. All the girls want a bit of Baxter, but they can't have him. You ask him yourself, he lives just that way. Right, so we've got Gilbert's house, or Baxter's house.
Where is this? Gilbert's house and Max's house as well. Great. Walk on, girl. Yeah. Prudence has been so distant lately. I believe she has a misplaced affection for her doctor, the cat. I would make a much more appropriate husband, and the wedding is planned. Prudence and I are engaged to be married. I'm desperate to see her. She should be by any moment. She had something important to tell me. I'm worried she's going to break off the engagement. Oh, that's why you come back and see him. I've never heard of such a man. This. Make sure there is nothing else. No, not that I can see. Just that. Okay. That's a girl. Right, Baxter's house. Keep moving. Slow down. Left-handed man. I'm suspecting a Jekyll and Hyde thing happening here. Empty pair of baggage and the power of there's someone can tell me more about this.
I'm gonna go back to the doctor because something ain't right about that dude. Whoa, easy. Doing fine, good. Slow down now. Easy does it. Aside from which, something's telling me to go back here anyway, so... That medicine was developed by Dr. Alton specifically for one of our patients, Mr. Shelby. But he's been using it for another patient as well. I need to chat with the doctor again because there's something a little bit off. An unfortunate incident. One of my patients became overexcited. But Prudence cut him. Oh God, it's true. I couldn't help myself. The powder unleashed a creature within me. He seduced the innocent Prudence and then killed her to prevent us from marrying. It's too, too horrible. I knew something was amiss with the medical powder, but didn't understand until you found those papers. Well done. Up to the clink with you. Medication seemed to be so successful on one of his patients that he tried it on himself and created a monster going under the name of Baxter. His second drug alter personality lived a wild, scandalous life, seducing women as he went. The unsuspecting Prudence Brown believed him to be Dr. Alton, fell in love with the passion of Baxter. Meanwhile, Baxter continued his seductions, uh, which included the possessive Lulu, who later followed Prudence, planning to threaten her, that would be the lady outside. Horrified by Baxter's actions, Dr. Alton resolved to marry Prudence in order to save her reputation. Last I however, would not let his freedom be curtailed in any way and arranged to meet Miss Brown in the park, where he viciously murdered her, crying for which Dr. Alton will pay the price. Hmm. Interesting. Right. On we go with the next one. In the next video, we'll be doing uh, when I can see on the map. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Death stalks the colonel, and the quickest way to get there is from there. All right. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.